Hello guys, I am Saddam of the Bears and today we will build something very very easy. So let's do it. This will be a just a basic light switch. So we will take one logic switch. One logic writer. and one light so now we will connect them with the wires basically you can use any type of wire and this is not a really nice design but it works so you can try it on your own so now we need a screwdriver so now what do we need to do is like logic writer needs to read a logic switch as an input Okay, and the output will be the light. And the state is on. So now the logic writer is running, so if we will switch the switch, the wall light should be on. And it is. And it is not. And it is. And it is not. So now we will try something different. We will have more lights than one. So now we will connect them with wires. And of course, it is not working. Do you know why? We need batch writer. So, let's do it. Scroll with the mouse. And now we have batch writer. And let's switch the batch writer to switch like an input and the output will be the wall light. And now we can try it. The difference between a logic writer and page writer is page writer will write to every device which is same. For an example, like now, it is a wall light. So if we will switch the switch, it will tell every wall light in this circuit to turn on. So let's do something more complicated with two switches. We will use two memories. And few logic processors. Compare compare 
one more compare and one math unit so let's rename these circuits switch one switch two memory one and memory two now the compare units and that's it for now so let's make this logic circuit working so the first thing we will program the memories with a screwdriver so this memory will have a value 1 this memory will have value 2 now the logic so compare unit number one will compare the switch number one with memory number one so basically if the switch number one is on the compare unit should display the state like one because logic switch number one equals memory one value which is one now let's do it with compare unit number two we will use switch number two and memory one It shows zero because the switch is not switched. If the switch is on, the compare unit shows one. So basically, switch number two state equals one. Let's do some calculation. We will count the state of compare unit number one and compare unit number two. Now it shows zero. If we will switch the switches, the state in the math unit should be two because one plus one is basically two. So now almost the last step let's compare the state of math unit with memory number two so now we have compare unit number one state one Compare unit number 2, state 1, so it is 1 plus 1 equals 2, and the compare number 3 is comparing the state of math unit to memory number 2, and it shows it's 1, because 2 equals 2. Now the last step. We will take the state of the compare unit number 3 The output will be the wall lights
so now we can see the wall lights are on a vehicle switch just one switch nothing happens but if we will switch both switches the lights are on this is a short example of end gate we will add LED displays and of course rename them We will connect them with cables. So now we can see three zeros. We will add some logic writers. And we will try to display the stage of compare unit number one compare unit number two and the math unit so it will be like a very very basic calculator we have it connected so let's program it we will use screwdriver so let's say this logic writer will read compare number one This will be for compare number two. This one will be for the math unit. So now we can see three zeros again. Let's try to play with the switches. So now we switched just the switch number one and it shows the compare unit number one is state one and the math unit is one. Now we can see the compare unit number 2 has state 1 and the math unit has state 2. And now we have zeros again. So thank you very much for watching guys. Bye bye.